What's up my Finalas? It's Miss Fina D coming to you all from Fina Team Indies. Oh my gosh, this episode, this episode of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Where, where can I start? Oh, first of all, okay, that, that should start from the beginning, you know, with everything and of course, you know, Portia doing her thing with acting, you know, Candy, when all of the girls are screaming, we were there for you, we did this for you, and how do you, yeah. Candy was one of the first one, ones who believed in her and put her in her play. And then once she felt like she had her foot on the ground, she turned her nose right up on Candy. That's the same situation that she and Nene are going through right now. So that's that. I always love and support Kenya Moore and Cynthia Bailey, amazing friendship. And for the people coming for Kenya saying, girl, you met your husband, your husband, <laughs> and was married in two seconds. So who are you to tell Cynthia to take her time? Kenya was saying take it slow because Cynthia just got out of a relationship with Peter. She just got out of, out of a marriage and she's just saying, you know what? Be in love, be excited, be happy, but take your time, you know, get to know him because you just got out of another situation. Don't like, don't allow being vulnerable to blind your eyes of what Candy was bringing to the table. But for the most part, it looks like Cynthia and Will are still going strong because right here is a recent picture of the double date with, you know, my girl from Martin, <laughs> Pam. Her real name is not Pam, but you know what? We all know her as Pam. But anyway, so they're still going strong. And Will is hilarious, you know, the whole situation with Kenya and Brazil and prostitutes. She was just joking. And Will posted this image right here, like showing proof, like, uh, yeah, I was there. But his caption didn't, you know, had anything to do with the show or nothing. But if you put two and two together, you kind of can figure out where he was going with that. But, you know, Kenya was just looking out for a girl, like, girl, be excited, but not too over the top where he feels like, got him like i got her where i want her to be so now i'm going to yeah so anyways it was just girl talk but i'm glad that kenya came by and showed cynthia event some love the fact that cynthia mom showed up to the psa and was that open and cynthia is always there for kenya that's the least that she could do she was basically the only one excluding will and, and cynthia's sister that showed up but no one else really came to support her drives. So I don't know what's up with that. If she invited people or what happened with the scheduling or if they had scheduling conflicts, whatever the case might be, you know, it was nice to see Kenya there supporting her and Kenya look beautiful as always. And so does Cynthia. So that was a nice scene. Now let's get to, you know, listen, it's not a black and white thing. Okay. But people just feel like they understand Sheree's position, and they understand that Sheree been friends with him. But most people just feel like Sheree, when you're in a situation where you feel like another person from your race is being attacked, regardless if that person is your friend, you know, you want to speak up. But in that situation, you know, in as much as I can't stand duck lips, she didn't say anything that was racist. She just said, my daughter went to Nini's house and Nini had a bunch of roaches. That's what she said. Then she showed a video. Sheree went by the video and was like, oh, okay. And Sheree did not, she made a comment here and there, but she did not say anything that was so disrespectful, you know, to an extent or whatever. So, but I'm sure if Kim, you know, crossed the line and said something racist and out of line, Maybe Sheree would have stood up, but I'm going to say Sheree probably would not have stood up and just sat there and not back up anyone. So, hey, whatever the case might be. And I completely agree with Nini about, you know, getting a mugshot. You can get a mugshot by getting pulled over and not paying your tickets. Yeah. So getting a mugshot and actually being convicted and going to jail for 10 years, those are two separate things Sheree so yeah mm -mm. no ma'am I understand you want to you know what I'm saying make excuses for Tyrone or whatever man they gave him a real mm, Tyrone okay all right I'm not you know what I was tempted to sing the Erica Badu song but I'm not gonna do it 
but yeah <laughs> there's no comparison at all now let's get to this whole fake you know miss Cleo was fake too call me now you know may her soul rest in peace you know she died fake Jamaican miss Cleo talking about and she wasn't even a Jamaican so this miss Cleo 2.0 miss Cleo want to be over here in ballet <laughs> <laughs> like where they got her from oh my gosh but um ballet whatever her name was wasn't my issue it's the fact how rude how rude and disrespectful is this Kim Zosia she is so rude borderline to the point where listen first of all you have no evidence, okay? No evidence, but you straight out, flat out on national television say you feel like Nene Leaks is on drugs, okay? Now, the old Nene I know would have been readjusting her wig luxuriated years ago. But Nene was like, you know what? I'm just gonna be the bigger person, count to 10 and not go there. Because that nini was just like, you know what? You are trying to get a rise out of me. I'm not I'm not gonna go there. So I'm gonna let that go. But to accuse someone of being on drugs and talking about their eyes was rolling, all, all that stuff, that was one. The part that pissed me off, and you guys know it takes a lot to get me there because I'm the with oh, the God bless attitude being positive at all times. <laughs> yes, I can clown myself. It's okay. The fact that this idiot gonna stand up to a supermodel, talented business woman, gorgeous woman in her 50s that still look like she's in her 20s, that don't have to touch her face or do anything, her skin is not cracking, this drop dead gorgeous Cynthia Billy that she would never in her life hold a candle to, to have the nerve to say, just sit there and be a pretty face and shut the hell up? Are you kidding me? Basically, be a model, be cute, and shut the F up. Oh my God, Cynthia Bailey. Cynthia Bailey. Kudos to you for your peace. Because she would have been dragged. Alright? Not by me. But I completely understand where Cynthia was coming from. Like that desperation you're looking for a peach so bad and you want to get a rise out of everybody you're not going to get that satisfaction out of me so i'm going to put you in check at Kenya. i'm going to put you in check and by your daughter going on social media and being disrespectful towards kenya i'm going to put you in check that you started all this bs with kenya and kenya did not do anything to you until you came for her but that comment I'm just going to walk away and I'm not I'm going I'm going to walk away and I'm not I'm not going to give you that satisfaction but for that woman to say that knowing that all the stuff that women are going through right now and men being disrespectful to women and dismissing who they are and equal and women fighting for equality and all of that and for her to tell this intelligent gorgeous woman shut up Sit down, sit there, and be quiet. Oh, oh. <laughs> and it's not just me. Social media feels the same way. So when I put this video right here, you're about to see with me going through Kenya Moore Twitter, you will see what Twitter had to say. Who the hell does she think she is? Okay, so I'm on Kenya Moore Twitter feed and just catching up on what she had to tweet about the episode um so these are some of the retweets kenya said kim was dressed up as a pep <laughs> the way kim talked to cynthia pissed me off yeah i'm going to talk about that more mm -hmm. the energy reader left the room the cast is spell on kim somebody's saying that they find it hard to believe that kim just sat there after Kenya shut her down, and that was Kenya's response right there. 
Kenya still getting him together. I think Kenya more of a putting the Zola of <laughs> that is Kim Steed in her place. That's why I love you. When did I start being on Kenya's side? <laughs> she L A L. Babe, that babe. Ha, Dot picked a fight with me all night. Now she's blaming me. So Bria counted the roaches at Nini House. Kim is really reaching this season. First Kenya, second Kenny, third Nini. Yeah, I'm going to talk about her because she had a lot of messy things to say, man. Talking about um, Nini is on drugs and then literally basically alluding to the fact that Cynthia is just a pretty face and a model with no brain and to just sit there and look pretty and shut up. Yeah, she went way across the line. So I'm going to go ahead and talk more about that. But I'm also going to go to, let me go to Candy. Since it's right here. Okay. I'm sick of, I already read that in the last thing. See what Candy is talking about. That was one day ago, so Candy ain't talking about nothing. So I'm gonna go to Nini's page. Three hours ago, I'm bored. I'm the general contractor now. Carry on. Um, for the record, Nini has one of the nicest houses in an exclusive neighborhood, and the house is brand new. All right, Nini announced that she's going back on tour because you all know what happened the last time she was on tour. Okay, so these are all old. So now I'm gonna go to Cynthia Bailey's. I'm just doing a round. Uh, sending her condolences to Jill. My condolences to Jill, her family as well. She lost her husband. And Cynthia telling Kenya basically thank you for being, I think, the only person that showed up from the show, excluding her sister and Will, to support her. So that's that. Sheree normally don't tweet about the show. So... Let's see. Okay, yeah, about her son. And the music, okay. Yeah, so Sherry really don't be getting into any of it on there. Every friend group has, uh, I'm sure, okay. Trippy toe half and will always have the person man my respect for Sheree. Okay. All right, so that's that. And then let's go ahead and I'm going to go back. You can tell I don't mess with uh, Kim because I have to literally type her name. Yeah, and then Annie Cohen. I have to type what Portia are talking about. Portia's on vacation, so we're probably ain't talking about nothing. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah, mm -mm. push I ain't got nothing going on. So then I'm going to type in Kim. Okay, there you go. I don't know what show people be watching. I have no idea. Okay. Okay, she's talking about candy again. Okay. All right. Yeah, nothing going on here. So, I am going to go ahead and get off Twitter now and get back to this. And now I heard that the African-American guy, Carlos, who was the producer, the one who either he quit or, you know, when Phaedra lied and said, oh, it wasn't just her, a producer told her to say those things about Candy. And then there were stories that, oh, Carlos is the one, so that's why he's not there no more. But Carlos is doing his thing. You know, he was the one who executive produced the whole Gucci Man and Keisha, you know, wedding and uh, that entire series on BET. So he's still getting a check, whether it's BET or Bravo. Somebody with a B is still cutting him a check, okay? 
<laughs> so he's still getting paid. But I heard that a guy who's the executive producer on Duck Lips show is the guy who's also step who have also stepped in after Carlos left. So that's why she just feel like she have this leverage to say what she want. I don't understand why Bravo is forcing her down our throat. You know, Nini was on one of these shows promoting and Nini said that if you were to cut Kim open, nasty, disgusting worms and slimy stuff would come out of her. And I don't blame Nini for saying that. Because, like, that comment to Cynthia Bailey really pissed me off. Like, it, it, it got under my skin. And you know what? There's a way that you can put someone in check without using that one curse word. And you know what? Cynthia was like, not today. I'm just going to walk away. But I love how Kenya told her to shut the hell up. And she didn't have no comeback. Like, Kenya just put her in her place and shut her down. And she did not have no comeback at all. And Portia, I know you're desperate to hold on to your peach, baby girl. But Kim is not the one. She's all holding your hand, running her fingers through your hair like you're a pet or a dog or something. She's not your frack, freaking frack, whatever. She's just using you and trying to squeeze her way in there. You can't be that gullible. Focus on your family and all of that. I understand you don't have a man. Portia don't have a man. So she have a way to find another storyline on the show. And I get it. You know, you don't have a storyline. You're desperate. Your ex-BFF is not there anymore. Kim is desperate. So it makes sense for you, Kim and Sheree to hold on to each other and all of that. But yeah, that's not who you want to hold on to and this whole situation about candy and all of that i did i talked in the video and showed candy tweets so you guys can see that as well and then i'm going to come back and talk more about it so i'm on candy's page doing a screen record um this is candy uh tweet the part that just got me was when she wrote this is my house you are just a visitor like talk your itch candy okay she better ask Phaedra Parks. <laughs> and of course, Nini was on there. She stayed lying. And let me go ahead and see what people had to right after Nini busted that. Yes, scoop her, <laughs> scoop her beep right up. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and scroll so you guys can read the comments yourself. Okay. Right. So, man, it's just a hot mess just a hot mess but these are the comments here of people defending candy nobody believes anything kim says yeah she lies too much kim sosia bimarelli you stay trying it with your basic barbie bleep stop trying to create a storyline no one is interested in that messy ish and oh, before you start talking about the, that whack bleep show, people tune in to see Crow ass, not you. <laughs> wow. Yep. And I'm also going to go ahead and um, post the um, Kim response to Candy. Was, uh, Kim responds, if anybody's lying, it's you at Candy. You and your husband are full on swingers effing all kinds of girls and can never admit it and bleep if it weren't for me there would be no house remember i built this house she's talking about the real housewives of atlanta basically saying that it was her nini sheree and the other girls who are the originals and candy was added after them so basically she's saying that because she's one of the ogs that means she have leverage we shall see man this is just a big old mess you already you guys already know how i feel about duck lips nope not here for her mm -mm. so yes man so it, it the that's my my review basically is what i said about cynthia bailey that that pissed me off made me mad um it looks like kenya moore will eventually quit so Kenya Moore saying, 
I didn't get fired. There's two things. Either Kenya is still there, she didn't get fired, or what she meant was, I'm not there anymore, but I didn't get fired. I quit. I chose to leave. I think Kenya is at the point where she feels like, what am I trying to prove? What am I trying to prove? I don't have nothing else to prove. My business is doing great. They said that I wanted my business was water, but my business is doing great. We are in all of these different retail stores. I have commercials. I'm doing amazing. I have employees like you see right here in the Instagram live of Kenya telling her employees thank you, you know, because you know her birthday is coming up and all of that. Mine is fabulous. Who wrote this? Because they have some really scripted <laughs> 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 Thank you guys. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah, yeah. So cupcakes and wealthy are in the bag, I'm sure. Oh, this is so cute. Yes, the body cream. I need that because I'm very ashy. <laughs> body oil, need that. Inhale lotion. Everything I need for my ash. <laughs> oh, God. This is great. Catching the chocolate. Oh, and chocolate. Oh, wow. Oh, and chocolate. Oh, wow. oh, and chocolate. Oh, I love it. Oh, yeah. So I hope, I hope uh, his, his sister, right, his, his niece is okay. Um, I just wanted to let everybody know um, how much I really appreciate you guys. You guys work hard. You're in retail. You're in the middle of a mall and kiosk, and it can be tough sometimes, but you guys show up um, every day for me, and you represent the company, and you represent the company well, and I cannot be more proud of you. So. Thank you for emergencies and um, saving the day and just always being cool. So um, I really do, do just appreciate all of you guys. We love you. Thank you. Okay. More to come. <laughs> <laughs> so to um, Jalen and Joseph and Yasmin and Crystal and Justin and Jamal, the other phantom people that are out there um, behind the scenes um, I just appreciate everybody because without all of you I, I can't do it by myself you guys know that so um, so thank you again thank, thank you. you and thank DJ you. who holds me down behind the scenes <laughs> always years and years he's a statesman in the uh What's up? What's up? Can I get a one of those shirts? Can I get one of those shirts? Can I get a can I get a Kenya Moore shirt? You can get a Kenya Moore t shirt. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so uh so let's wrap up and um Jody's not here, always holding my hair down. Um Christine. And that was her pre-birthday uh, celebration with um, Cynthia Bailey and all of that. And when you saw those images after the growing up hip hop premiere um, and they were having a kick and all of that, that was for Kenya pre-birthday pre -birthday celebration because you were aware Kenya goes back and forth between Atlanta and New York because her husband lived in New York. She also lived in New York. Kenya actual birthday is on January 24th. And since they don't know if Kenya is going to be in town for her birthday or spending it with her husband. So, hey, while I have you, I'm going to go ahead and celebrate you because you're probably about to disappear and go on a birthday vacation or somewhere or whatever. So, they are all celebrating Kenya birthday early. So, that's that. Um, the whole elephant room situation was just weird. It was weird because nothing was resolved. It was almost like before they got to talk and make their point, people were over it. It's just a very interesting season. And back to Kenya, Kenya business is doing well. Kenya have a husband. <laughs> yeah, I always say husband because of Phaedra. She always used to say, you ain't got a husband, I have a husband. Yeah, so anyways, um, Kenya is married. 
Kenya have businesses. Kenya have the house. Everything that they said Kenya couldn't do, she's done. So, like I always say, never seek validation from anyone because that is the worst thing you can do because no matter how amazing you are, people will always find faults and flaws in you. So just go ahead and continue to live an amazing life and focus on positivity and focus on those who uplift you and are there for you and ignore the naysayers. So at this point, Kenya is like, I don't have nothing else to prove, so I'm done. I wouldn't be surprised if Kenya Moore quit the show. And you know what? I would be happy if, if she still wants to do reality television, it wouldn't surprise me if she goes somewhere like Wii TV or something like that, but have creative control where she's the executive producer and she have creative control where, yes, we're going to have some drama, but I'm controlling this so I get to have a say so of what is the final cut or not and maybe in that way she can present her family the way that she want to in a positive light and maybe her husband will be okay with something like that so if she quits Bravo and she's still into doing reality TV shows Kenya have an exciting story. The fact that she's getting up there in age and she still wants to carry, she wants to be the one to birth her child. Jenna Jackson had her child at 50, you know, Halle Berry had her second at 47. So, you know, don't come for Kenya, it is possible. You know, Kenya is still in her 40s, so it's very possible for her to get pregnant. So she have a very interesting story that any other network will pick up and give her her own show as long as showcasing my happy marriage. We have our ups and downs, but we're working on it and then happy and then getting pregnant. She have a long story and an amazing story that would make for great TV. So if she end up quitting Bravo, I think we will see Kenya Moore somewhere else on the, on the screen or Kenya might just say, hell, F all of this, I'm tired. I just want to be a businesswoman, be a wife, and rest. I'm tired, you know, dealing with the cameras and all of that. But I wouldn't be surprised if I was to see Kenya doing something else if she was to quit. But if she, if she did not quit and she's still there, then of course we're going to see her journey towards becoming a mother on the next season of the show. But yeah, man, it... Yeah. <laughs> It's a so-so season. I'm still on the fence about it, but that's my review. So I'm going to go ahead and end it here, my Vina loves. I'm wishing you all an amazing day. Remember to always have the god bless attitude, which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.